Hello, you guys. That was crazy. I almost feel like I can't talk right now because one, it's 1.20 a.m. <laughs> and that was crazy. So, uh, no flow. You're not going to be a mod. Not right now. <laughs> this is my Starship SN8 rocket. Um, and I just want to talk about the flight because obviously I'm seeing right now that a lot of people are saying it's a failure, blah, blah, blah. So I wrote down this short little text thing <laughs> because I'm stupid. So I just wanted to say that, like, look at this, the things that went right. We had the engines lighting. We had all the three engines lighting up. That was a success. You know what? Let's, let's look at the space extreme. So we have... I'm just going to not have audio on this. But we have engines lighting up at T minus zero. And that was perfect. And then we go to like stable ascent, which that was crazy already because those fins are huge aero surfaces and having them extended like that, that's kind of crazy. Um, so it goes really slowly up, like surprisingly slow. I know in my animation a little while ago, it was pretty quick. Um, but that I just didn't want to remake that. But uh, uh, yes, Silent Dawn, that's one of the things that I'm going to mention. So, Stable Ascent. And then later in the flight, we're going to see this staged cutout of the engines. And you're going to see it right here. So, the way we can see it live, that it's actually on purpose without having Elon uh, saying it. Um, is that the engines are gimbal gimbaling before it shuts out. And that's to sort of um, compensate for the engine uh, thrust being off. So when the engine turns off, it's going to um, shift the, the thrust going through the center of mass. Um, and then you see the second engine go out right in a bit here. And that's another sign that it's actually on purpose, that you see one engine that goes uh, a bit of time, and then the second engine does the exact same thing. We see some movement before it shuts off, and then it actually shuts off. So that's one of the signs. And then it sort of just coasts with this one engine, 42, obviously, um, to apogee. And the reason it does it this slowly is because of those huge fins. So it's aerodynamically unstable while going up and it uses the thrust vector control on those engines. And you should be able to see that this on my model here. So if I actually just remove this bottom section here, remove, remove all this, you have a clear view into the engine bay here. And there's this thrust vector control system. And it works like this. It, the engine is connected up here uh, and it has these green and red points where it can actually shift. So there's, there's this red one where it rotates on this axis and the green one where it's connected, it shifts on the other axis. And that's how it controls on the way up. And that is on every single rocket basically. Um, and it really has to work hard to compensate for these giant, giant fins. So. It uses that to coast all the way up to Apogee, and it has to use it because otherwise it would just flip out of control. And then right when it gets to that point where it's, it's no longer rising, um, it cuts out and you see it falling immediately by that smoke. So that right at that point where it's not rising anymore, it cuts out that engine. And then we get to that other point uh, where it, it's another successful part of the the test, it rotates into the skydive maneuver and just falls controlled, like really slowly controlled with these flaps. And you can see out here on these, how quickly they move to control this falling sky skydiving building, basically. It's nuts. So essentially, let's uh, get this back. Essentially, the rocket does this. This is gonna lag a bit because this is a highly detailed model. <laughs> it doesn't do it on the pad either. 
it does that and then the flaps do this basically to uh, to allow air and then they, it can it can rotate the flaps like this um, let's actually do this it can rotate the flaps like this to control the rocket and I did an animation of this and you can find it on my channel it controls all the different degrees uh, like how do you say that? <laughs> the different axes, like you can control roll, pitch, and yaw with just these four fins. And it does that controllably, like really slowly, down through the atmosphere, and that's just crazy to see, because that's a maneuver that has not been done by anyone before, other than like human skydivers. And then we get to this point where the engines relight. And that's the thing that they hadn't tested. So look at that, it flips controllably and like it relights these two engines that are the first notice it's the first two engines in the back there those are the first two ones that actually did the shutdown another good sign that <laughs> it was intentional um but yeah and then it flips perfectly and you can see it working really hard and that's when things start to go wrong so the all of these things go right and then this thing that elon tweeted which uh, led us to know what went wrong is that the header tanks uh, pressure was low and I don't believe I have tanks in this rocket no but inside of this tank and you probably saw it on the everyday astronaut stream stream if you watched that um, no I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to mess with that but inside the rocket uh, there is these tanks that hold the um, fuel for landing and the reason it has separate tanks for that is that, sorry, I'm just going to have to find this, um, is that it has to be pressurized. And for it to be separate from the big tanks where the, there's a little bit fuel left from ascent and it just sloshes around in there because it's a huge tank with a tiny bit of fuel in it. Um, okay, I can't seem to find that doesn't matter inside of here there are these tiny tanks in the nose there's one in the nose here and then there's one in the middle of this of the rocket and and those the pressure in those tanks was low and that meant that in one of them the, the fuel tank uh, that meant that the engines here had to run a little bit of or they <laughs> resulted in them running a little bit uh, oxygen rich and that's kind of bad. And then the engine sort of starts eating up uh, itself. And that's why you can see the, the green parts. That's a sign that some copper or something has been burned. I think uh, copper looks green when, when it burns. And then when, that's when it touches down. Pretty, pretty bad. But even then, even then when it touches down, it, <laughs> hello everyone. Um, even then when it touches down, it touches down in the middle of the pad. And I'm sure you've heard all of the different commentators that you, uh, that you watched uh, talk about this. But I just wanted to, whoops, take a look at my model here, just to uh, sort of showcase all of the things that, that went right. So do you guys have any other things that went right or went wrong or do you just want to look at my <laughs> my beautiful engine gimbling here I think that was, that was it <laughs> if we look at my model here there's a thing that I worked really hard on actually so you see where the um, where the line here comes from the I believe that's the fuel line I can't remember actually Nonetheless, these points where it's connected, that this is uh, to allow uh, this orange highlight part here. That's to allow the uh, engine to, or the line here to to move freely. So when I when I move this, or you can actually see it over there. When I move this, you can see that it, it moves freely. Um, <laughs> so I worked hard on that on my 3D model here. But nonetheless, that is uh, Starship SN8 and its flight and. 99% of it going right and 
a tiny little thing with the header tanks went wrong. And we will probably see the SN9 that they have already built and is ready to fly basically, roll out to the launch pad, which looks like this. <laughs> um, and take flight soon probably. And they have already built, or they're currently building up to like uh, SN16, I think we've seen parts for. So, so eight more of these rockets are already in production. Um, so yeah, very, very successful test flight, a lot of data for SpaceX and a huge congratulations to the, to the SpaceX team and every single person that, that works there because everyone from the kitchen staff to the engineers to the camera controllers like the broadcast um, people, yeah, every single person, congratulations. And this is just crazy. This is uh, really, really hopeful for the future. Like, yeah, I'm just happy. I can't stop smiling. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and think that this was a dream. So, yeah. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. Thanks for <laughs> saying my model is beautiful, Jim. And yeah. I don't know what else to say. There was just a little condensed part. I will leave that there. And uh, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> I will uh, I will see you soon with Rocket Explorer stuff and secret projects and uh, oh yeah, hashtag kids draw rockets. So that's the thing. Look at look that up on Twitter. <laughs> Have your kids draw some rockets, and we will model it in three D. Cool. <laughs>